Okay, Rome has a large number of small cubes. The cubes are identical in size. Some of the cubes are red, some are green, the rest are blue. He carries an experiment in which he picks five different cubes at random. He records the number of cubes in each color and replaces the five cubes. He repeats this process a number of times. Okay, he's picking out cubes. Um, trial A, he got no reds four greens and a blue. Okay. Work out the mean and standard deviation of the number of red cubes per trial for the seven trials. Okay. I think this is just using the stats mode on the calculator. Um, so let me see, just take out the old calculator and put it in stat mode, stat mode, and then, oops, stat mode. And then start typing in what are we looking at work out the mean and standard deviation of the number of red cubes per trial and red is zero three two two four five and one okay and we want the mean so i uh, calculate the mean to one decimal place on the calculator as 2.4 and the standard deviation Um, as 1.6 work whoops work out the correlation coefficient between the number of red and green cubes okay another calculator question now um so between red and green which are the first two rows okay zero uh, three, two, two, four, five, one, and then green, four, two, zero, three, zero, zero, two. Okay. And then correlation coefficient, my calculator reports to me is minus zero point seven six two. negative because having more of one means you're less likely to have more of the other you're more likely to have less of it i mean Roman repeats the experiment a large number of times explain why you would expect the correlation coefficient between the number of red and green cubes to try to be negative oh i i just said it um because the more of one implies the uh, fewer or the less, not fewer, of the other, whatever. Don't care about my grammar. Um, yeah. So if you have a lot of red, then you can't have a lot of green. You know, many reds implies fewer green. Right. What's he up to now? Ron makes a solid cube void of those dimensions. Some of the small cubes have one, two, three, one, two, or three faces on the outside. Wait. Ah, boring. Number of small cubes with three faces on the outside. Well, they're the corner ones, so that's eight of them. Number of small cubes with two faces on the outside. Well, that's the ones lined up here. So there's three here, two here, two here, and three here. Ten. Ten on the back and four in the middle. So 24 and 22. Number of small cubes with no faces on the outside. Ah, that's everyone in the middle, which is three, six, twelve, eight no uh just these two here 12 is it oh i hate it no i've miscounted i've miscounted okay let's try this again number of small cubes with three bases on the outside one four eight twelve oh i said eight no it is eight one two three four five six seven eight okay i think that's right Number of small cubes with two faces on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on the back. And then 
yeah, 24. That's 22. So it must be the last one. Number of small cubes with no faces on the outside. One, two, three, four. The, just the six in the middle here. Hang on. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, not 12, six. Is it? Yeah, I think that was my mistake. Just the last one needed to be a six. There's six in the middle here. Okay. Oh, what a stupid way to finish the question.